with homes and things listen in today's video i'm going to be cooking with you guys um today is sunday it's december 31st it's the last day of the year um we didn't have a spiritual meeting today because we had what's called a circuit assembly on yesterday we had a wonderful time i'm very proud of my husband um i know i told you in a previous video that he was doing something i couldn't talk about well he had a part on our assembly yesterday and um i'll show you a little clip of him on the stage he did a wonderful job and i'm very proud of him so anyway we're going to get into this cooking video but i know you see me in the car i'm actually in the line at starbucks getting a coffee i'm going to head up to nam day moon and get some greens we're going to do probably a mix i'm thinking i'm going to get collards turnips and mustard and mix them together i want to pack a turkey wings and i'm gonna look at their ribs as well so that's what we're going to do first we're going to go buy the food and then we're going to come home and cook it so stay tuned that's what we're doing today listen if you're not currently sub sub subscribed to the channel i could really use your support so make sure you hit the subscribe button here as well as follow us on instagram okay now I'm, i need to get better over there and i will but i need your support as well so make sure you follow us here and on instagram okay and leave a comment let me know what you liked or didn't like about the video i just appreciate the support because it helps this tra channel tremendously all right all right let's go let's get our coffee and then let's go get our i don't have to party to have fun you see i got different hobbies and that's all i need some say life is boring but i disagree i wake up and live my dream someday soon i'm gonna make it yeah our hard work's gonna be worth it Now that I've gotten in from the store, 
I am going to clean up the kitchen and then start cooking. So give me a minute and we'll get right into moving those pots. <laughs> that you may hear running the dishwasher is going first things first we're going to put our turkey necks on i got some smoked turkey necks and this pack is really too big for what i'm trying to do so i'm probably going to use half of them so what i always do is rinse them not a heavy rinse it's a lot of sodium on them though my husband has a sensitive stomach so i'm going to use this amount of turkey necks and i'm gonna put the rest in a ziplock but I, you know what let me go ahead and rinse them all because what i normally do is just pour them out of the ziplock into a pot and do that first boil and i'll explain if you've never watched my videos before I'll explain what I mean by the first boil. We're going to let those that's going in the freezer drain a little more. So I took about half of them and I'm going to just cover them with water and put them on the stove on high and let them come to a boil. Move this chicken broth out of the way. And we're going to turn this pot on high. And then when it when it comes to a boil, you guys, I'm going to cover it and let it boil for a little bit. So while that's coming to a boil, we can go ahead and start cleaning our greens. and mustards. So what I normally do is cut all of that stalk. I don't like a lot of stalk, especially when I've got several different kinds of greens. Some of them have really thick stalks. So I had a small bunch, so I cut the stalks off. I'm gonna throw those away. And then one by one, I look at the leaf, make sure there are no worms, thick clumps of dirt. As you can see, I'm rubbing my fingers across it just to get off anything that I don't want. And I'm also looking at the leaf to make sure there are no bad damage spots that I don't want to eat. So I do this with all three of the greens, the mustards, the collards, and the turnips. And then once I'm done, then I'll roll them together and cut them. 
Normally with um, turnips though, I just shred them. But since I've got three different types of greens and it's only one bundle, I'm going to roll them together and I'm going to cut them. And I'll get my cutting board in a minute and show you what that looks like. These turnips are going to be tender. I can feel it in the leaf. They're so, they're so soft and supple. They don't feel hard and tough. They just feel tender. and they're soaking in the first water. What I'm gonna do is clean them as good as I can in this first water, and then I'm gonna fill this sink with water, soak them for a little bit and clean them again. I do this process three or four times. Really, it's up to you how you clean your greens, but I do this process three or four times. sodium can you see it in there all that's from that first rinse of that smoked turkey and a lot of people say that's flavor but that's a lot of sodium and grease floating in the food that you get ready to eat so we always give it a first boil to get that excess off then we season the pot the way we like it. So we're gonna put that smoked turkey back in there and I'm gonna add some chicken broth in it to let it come to another boil. This is uh, Swanson, 33% less sodium, natural, 100% uh, natural non-GMO chicken broth. Had to get hubby to use some pliers and get it off. So I put two, let's see. 32 ounces in it already, and then I'm gonna use about half of this one at first, and let that come to a boil. Added a little chicken bouillon flavor, just a little one. This, is, this has salt, sodium, so you don't wanna add a whole lot if you're trying to be sodium free. Onion powder, garlic powder. I'm using a little Mrs. Dash onion and herbs and also Mrs. Dash garlic and herbs. Now I know I use onion powder and garlic powder already, but this onion and herb and garlic and herb gives it a 
uh, uh, added flavor. All right, we're gonna let that come to a boil. And in the meantime, we'll get our greens out of the sink so we can start on the grill. so boring I got up went to work just to get back home and repeat before you I just felt nothing I didn't dare to take risks I realized that these are way too many greens for us and so what I'm gonna do is once our meat is ready um, for the greens then I fill the pot up to the desired amount that I want to use for this meal the rest of them will go in a different pot They'll boil down. They won't be this color anymore. They'll be dark green and soft. And then you let them cool and you freeze them. Put them in freezer bags, label them. Uh, a lot of people like to put the date on it, especially if you have more than one bag of the same item in the freezer, you can put the date on the bag. And then what you do the next time is you cook your meat, the whatever meat you're gonna season your pot with, and when it's ready for the greens, you can take the greens out of the freezer and put them frozen into your pot of meat and let them cook down. And I promise you that's some good eating. So I'll show you how to do it. Tell me what your name is. Tell me what you like and all your secrets. I just wanna go over the details. Let me inside of your mind. No, I just met you But something tells me that you might be into Talking to a stranger with a tattoo Baby, I'm one of a kind There's a reason we're here There's a vibe in the air That neither you or me could deny Boy, I see how you stare up and down Everywhere I can tell you're far from shy So let's talk Do we drop or do we get kicked out? Talking to me, oh, oh. So let's talk. Do we drop or do we get kicked out? Oh, let's just say what we want. Come on, spit it out. You and me both got the time to try to get to know each other's mind. So let's talk. Do we drop or do we get kicked out? Oh, do we get kicked out? Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, so one thing that I didn't do on camera was show you that I had opened the seal. In a pressure cooker, you have a seal, side, and a vent. And you turn the knob to seal when it's cooking, and then vent once it's complete so that you can uh, release the air that's been pressurizing the food. So I did that while I was tending to the cornbread, and now... I have, um, it's finished venting. We have our ribs here and I'm going to take them all out and separate them. I do that because my husband likes plain ribs sometimes. And then there are two types of barbecue sauce that we love. So <clears throat> I'm going to separate them. And I think there's about 15 or 16. So five will be plain. Uh, as you can see, some of them. I pulled out just bone because the meat fell off the bone. Five will be plain. Five will have a more of a yellow barbecue sauce. And then five will have uh, the sweet baby rays like a tomato based uh, barbecue sauce. So I want to have a mustard base. want to have a tomato base. So it really makes a lot of juices when you pressure cook it. So I pour off not quite all of it, but most of it. And then I'm going to put the plain ones back in air fry them for about 10 minutes just to give them a crisp and then I'll repeat the process with the five mustard based barbecue sauce which is Maurice's we love Maurice's barbecue sauce don't judge me I know it was a lot of controversy about the Mar Maurice barbecue restaurant but we do like their sauce we buy it out of the store and then We'll do the same process for the Sweet Baby Ray, which is more of a tomato base. So that's what we're going to do next. I love cooking meals for my husband that he's going to enjoy. And he's not really a, like, spaghetti, tacos, uh, chicken alfredo, stuff like that. That's not really his vibe. He'll eat that. And I throw those types of meals in from time to time to switch things up. But you put a pot of greens on, you put a pot of beans on, you put uh, <clears throat> some uh, turkey wings or smothered chicken. He's just a old country boy that loves country food. So I try to be healthier with our choices, but still cook the things that he loves. And I don't always get 100% right let's just face it there's certain things you just can't skip on when it comes to good old country food but I'm gonna tell you this meal 
was absolutely delicious. The greens were super tender. The taste of the collards kind of overpowered the other two. Um, so it really tasted more like collars than a mixture, but listen, it was so good. You guys, it was absolutely delicious. And I'm so glad that I decided to cook this meal because, you know, we had a relaxing day at home and a good meal and enjoy each other. And that makes all the difference in the world. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, uh, that you learned something from it. Shout out to, uh, Chef Brooklyn, who asked for me to do the cornbread recipe again. Sorry, I wasn't talking, as you can hear. I'm very stuffy. I'm, I don't know if this is a flu or a cold.